Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm doing is my review of St. Augustine. So we have been there before, we came there one more time, and then we just stopped there on, as a one half a day trip um, on our way back from Orlando. Um, we absolutely love St. Augustine. It is such a great uh, beach vacation, so if you ever did think about going for like a week, week beach vacation, there's so much to do there. Um, the attractions amount that they offer there is like 10 out of 10. Um, it is so great. You have all this history there as well as a beautiful beach area. You have the harbor and the, the marina there. Um, it has just got so much to offer. You've got the fort. I mean, just there's just lots and lots of things to do there. So some of the attractions that we have experienced is the Fountain of Youth. Now we didn't do it this time. That's a 10 out of 10. You must do that. Um, it has so much history to it it's a pretty big expansive area they have like people dressed up in timed outfits you get to have a drink from the fountain of youth um and you get to see where the first people landed it's just a great great experience can't recommend that highly enough and um, we did the pirate treasure hunt like little cruise um where you go out into the into the harbor and then you have like a pirate tried to board your vessel and take your treasure super cute for kids under the age of like seven or eight super super cute um but i would give it about a seven i would give it about seven just because it's a little bit you know kitschy cliche now with ours though we did go during COVID time um so they were not able to do face painting or sword fighting or anything like that so it might be a lot better if you don't have all these social distancing measures going on but even though we did during the social distancing it was still really great do recommend it for little kids um again like a seven out of ten um, other thing that we have done was the Old Town Trolley Tour. Now I would give it a 7 out of 10 as well, but just because it really can't go down St. George's Street because that's a, a pedestrian only walkway. Um, it does take you around to all the different areas and attractions. Um, it is good, but it's not the best one that we've been to and we've done a lot of them in different cities as we've went. I think I would give it about an 8 out of 10. St. George's Street's a great way to walk down through there. The food, about 8 out of 10. Nothing really to write home about, but it was good. Uh, the fort also was about a 9 out of 10. That was great, and we didn't even get to go in, so it's even better on the inside. So overall, St. Augustine is like a 9 out of 10. Must do beach location if you've never been something to definitely go to. So make sure you hit, hit like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Make sure you check out my website, mountaincreekstables.org for my blog of my full review of St. Augustine. And check out teespring.com slash adventures by Caleb for my new merchandise coming out. God bless, be adventurous, and I'll see you next time. Bye.